Hi everyone, this is Peter Smock uh, live from, uh, well, it'll be Tate by the time you see it, from Santa Monica, California, on the beach. Believe it or not, it's the dead of winter. It's the January something or other, and uh, it's 80 degrees out, so go figure. Beautiful out. I want to take you through about five mobility movements. You can do this on the beach, it's wonderful. Traveling around the world, the beaches of the world that you choose, perfect for there or any place. Prior to a workout, prior to a running, uh, a bout of running, uh, prior to cycling, just about any sport or any activity you do or just wanting to limber up, these are really good movements. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start down in this position here. I'm gonna turn around a little bit. Just remember that mobility or flexibility exercises, I like mobility because I think of it being mobile in your joints, is really about movement. It's not just holding something statically for a long period of time. That goes contrary to some, uh, now some forms of movement. Yoga sometimes can be pretty static. I've done it and I think that that uh, has some credence, but I like the movement factor because muscles like to expand and contract and they loosen up as you do that. So just, just take this movement and just push the knee forward and slightly lean back. Now as you do that, don't lose the center of your body, meaning don't overdo this extension of your spine. If you feel something in your lower back, that means you've gone too far. So from here, now start to turn up and away as you go forward. Turn like that, turn. Bring your arms down a little bit and let your hips go side to side. It's a wonderful movement for loosening up your hips and also into your hip flexors, part of your hips, yeah? Okay, you do both sides of that, right? Now get down on all fours, bring one leg up and bring the other leg up, real simple. Let the leg go wherever it wants to go. Don't force it, it's not about how far you go. Slowly but surely, you'll find that you can go a little further and you'll come in more by your hands. That means that your hamstrings are starting to loosen up. Okay, now walk up and walk back down. Walk up, walk back down. Now once you do a couple of those, go ahead and stand all the way up. Go back down. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, nice and simple. Now into the hamstring. We're gonna just go back and forth, support yourself with your other hand. Drive the knee forward, feel that in your hip flexors and your hamstring, and then back primarily in your lower back and hamstring. Breathe, focus on taking it to a level, but not where it's painful. I think with the one thing that people don't understand about flexibility and movement, it's not about making your body do something, it's about giving it an opportunity through movement to progressively ask, if you will, the muscle to release and to relax. So in movement, progressively a little bit more at a time, and then you'll feel like you're really loosening up, okay? Last one, real simple. We're gonna push the hips forward, we're gonna reach up and back. We're gonna take it out, straightening legs and arms, looking between your legs, squatting down, Coming back, up, arching, hands forward, hips back, drop, legs straight, look between your legs, and back. Maybe you can get a little further than me. I'm not, I'm not feeling very mobile today. <laughs> yeah, well, it's coming, it's coming. Slowly squat, and then down. Feel the feet, contact, connect with your breath, make it easy. Remember, fitness is for the long haul. It ain't just for six weeks, six months, six years. It's for the rest of your life. Progress slowly, do it the life athlete way. You'll be active the rest of your life and feeling fit. Till next time, see ya.